Javante Tank Davis versus Terrence Bud Crawford. You know, after watching that fight this weekend against uh, Davis and Gamboa, I couldn't help but just think to myself, he looks like he's dismantling Gamboa a little bit easier than Crawford did. You know, Gamboa really didn't get to land any shots. You know, I watched Davis, you know, stand right point blank range within punching distance of him and parry, roll, weave, and shrug pretty much everything Gamboa threw, or at least 80% of everything Gamboa threw. You know, Davis, he has some real skills that I think, you know, people might think he's just a brawler, but he's not, man, you know, he's not. I see real skills, you know. I see him throw some hard power jabs on Gamboa that look like they did a lot of damage, a lot of damage, power jabs, you know. I see Davis just show a lot of different technical abilities you know in this last fight but Crawford on the other hand you know he's a he's a tactician you know when you watch Crawford you're really watching the thinking man's fighter you know what I mean him being ambidextrous only adds to the problem you know if you gotta fight Crawford you have to be aware if he's coming out orthodox or, or southpaw or you know, whether he's playing defense or what he's playing offense, you know, when you hit him, it wakes him up, it gets him amped, he gets even more ready, you know, his feet work is, is oh, almost second to none, you know, I, I, I can't, I can't really pick in this one, man, it's really like a, a pit bull versus a Rottweiler, you know, you really got to watch it to see who's going to win. You know, 50-50 all the way around, you know. I can't wait until these guys fight.